Okay, so let's move on to the next example, example 3. So for example 3, we are trying to check through the different type of inequalities. So if you can see from this one, we have like two set of inequalities that have been put together in one line of equation of inequalities. Okay, so the first one is this one. Let's say negative 10. So if we close 2 over here at the back, we are going to have negative 10 is less than or equals to 5 minus 3x. That is the first, actually the first inequality from this question. Okay, so then if we close this part, the first part, meaning we are going to have 5 minus 3x is less than 2. And because it is actually in one line, so the sign that we need to put here is end. So we have two separate, uh, we can break down this one line inequalities into two separate inequalities. And the thing that you have to put here is the term end. Okay, so this one you have check you have learned in your high school so please check this back okay so to solve this one we will solve this separately and we try to find the final answer so just please follow me on this step by step okay so solve the first part first okay so we are going to rearrange this take 3x to another side and we're gonna have 15 5 plus 10 so x is going to be less than and equals to 5 okay and the second part for this one if we rearrange this we are going to have 3x if you take 3x to the other side that the sign will be greater than so 5 minus 2 is actually 3 and we have x is greater than 1 so again the term that we will use is end okay so if we use end then we are we will solve this by using the number line okay we are trying to solve this by using number line real number line over here um, so what we have is first your ruler you're gonna make a number line okay so if we have a number line here, okay, so if we make a number line, then plot the number that we have here. So check these two numbers. So we have 1 and 5. So put both numbers in our number line. So according to the um, ascending order, obviously, so 1 over here and let's say this is 5. Five. Okay. Then we will try to plot our number line. Okay, so x is actually greater than one. So remember we have x greater than one. So make a line to the right and put an arrow there. So is this a closed bracket, closed interval or open one? So if we have it without the equal sign. So remember, you're going to have it an open uh, dot over here. Okay, open circle here. Okay, and then for 5, that is x is less than and equals to 5. So that is going to the left hand side of our equation, of our number line. Okay, so check this again. We have an equal sign. So that is going to be a full circle there. Okay, full circle. Right, so to check to check for our final answer because this is end, so when we have an n as our term, we are going to check for the intersection. Okay, for n we take intersection. Okay, so the intersection between these two numbers so if we make like a dotted line here to try to separate into different different region so this is the intersection between the two cases of our our answer 
Okay, and so our final answer is the value of x must be in between one and five. So the solution set is gonna be x. So x is in between one and five. So one x and five. So check this one. This is an open circle, so no equal sign. This is a full circle, so that is an equal sign over here. So this is our final answer. If you want to write down in interval form, your answer will be 1 and 5. So remember, equal sign, so square, and no equal sign, that is a circle, a half bracket there. So that is how we solve this question. Okay, just an addition over here. So if we check just now, in this case, whenever we have it in this one inequalities and we separate into two different, uh, two separate inequality, we will use this the, for, the sign and for the inequalities. If one, uh, we will look through after this, we will have also the condition where we need to write the answer as or. So for or, condition of or, we will check the union, we will take the union of the two answers if we have two solution, right? So and, remember it's like n, n number, n letter, so or is union. So just if you can remember one, if you can remember that n is the intersection, you will definitely able to remember that or will be the union. So there is, there are only two conditions for this one, okay? Okay, let's try another example. Maybe you can take some time to try this first before you look through my solution. Okay. Example 3, question B. So same type of question as the previous one. We have one line inequality but we have three terms over here. So we can break this down into two sets of inequalities. So remember, first step, try to close the one on the right hand side. So we are going to have x minus 20 is less than or equals to 3x minus 8. That is the first one. We are going to have n over here. Then, if we close on this side, we are going to have 3x minus 8 is less than 4. So, these are the two conditions that we have. Then, we will try to solve it one by one. So, this will be 2x okay if i take it to that side and then negative 20 plus 8 is negative 12 so x is greater than or equal to negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6 that is the first case and for the second one we have 3x is less than 12 x is less than 4 and then let's put our number line Okay, if plot our number line here, take the lower value to the left. So we are going to have negative 6 on the left and 4 to the right. Okay, so we are trying to plot uh, the number line here. Then check the values. X is greater than or equals to negative 6. So that is going to the right. And it is a full circle because there is an equal sign there. This one, x is less than 4, so it is going to the left, x is less than 4, that is an open circle because there is no equal sign. And we know that this is an n, so we need to check for the intersection. So the intersection will be, try to uh, plot, try to make the intervals, okay, if you make a dotted line here, that is the intersection between the two cases of our answer x and so the solution set will be x where x is in between negative 6 and 4 so there is an equal sign on this one okay that is our final answer
Now, before we end our lecture for today, so please try to do this question and fill in the answer as a proof of your attendance for today.